welcome to my java video series in today's video we'll talk about how to create a project from netbeans so let's begin uh, i have installed here netbeans id it is 8.1 you can use any other id as well as you can go for some you can go for some different version so let me open the id here so id basically has all JDK tools integrated under a single window means you can use editor you can use compiler you can use Java virtual machine you can use Java documentation tool you can use uh, jar building tool everything will be done from a single screen so first time when you open NetBeans it will be like this first time that when it is opened you will see a screen like this so this is your start page so if you want to see uh, some recent projects you can see here and if you don't want to see this screen always you can uncheck here by default it is checked I have unchecked this because I don't want to see every day every day this screen so this is how you will see your project this NetBeans is categorized into different different windows so this is your project window file window services window so we'll cover up all these windows in coming series but uh, today I have to create a project in this project window so here you can see some more options on the uh, file menu you can create a new project you can create a file you can open existing project you can see recent projects or some other options you can see in this area now you have options to edit here uh, many things you can find this is very important find is very important find uh, find feature in uh, your project or find and replace in your project this, these are very important features from the project point of view and uh, you will see here some different arrangement on views and the important thing here you will see that is tools you will see here Java uh, platform which is uh, which Java version is configured right now here you can check here I'm using by default JDK 1.8 and this is located in this directory even you can add other Java version under the same ID but anyway I have to uh, go through the default version right now and other things you will see here like you can manage your server you can manage library NetBeans has so many set of libraries available so you can manage the library in fact you can create your own libraries and uh, the library will have different jar files as per your need and I have to manage I can manage your server and other services and uh, right now I just have to uh, go to this see here this is your window if something is closed here suppose this project window is closed don't worry about it just go and open this so other windows you will see here which is related to your work so we'll see more options in coming series and uh, today I'm going to talk about how to create how to create a project here so let me create a project from this new project or or you can go to this right click here and new project so you will see here uh, different categories to create different kind of projects like you can create simple Java project you can create Java FX project which is your thin client projects desktop application for Java you can create web project you can create EJB project enterprise java beans project you can create html project you can create maven project and different categories you will see so to start with i am going to create a simple java project from this java category and select the project type simple java project now say next and name your project i call it hello application and you can save your project anywhere you want suppose I'm going to save my project in uh, this e drive I'm going to create my project under this e drive open this okay hello project is already available project folder already exists and it is not empty okay means I can select here a uh, different location so let me go to the different folder I can go to the e drive and work folder I can select this is ready now you will see here the location of your project this is your project location and here you will see option to create a main class when you create a project NetBeans will create a main class for you but if you don't want to 
uh, take the class you just uncheck this and you can add this main class manually so no problem one more thing you can see here NetBeans is internally adding here a package so we have not discussed package till now so you can to start with you can either provide the package and if you don't want to provide the package just create here class name this is hello class or you can call it test class it's very simple class so NetBeans will create a project basically project is nothing but a folder which is managed by NetBeans it has a standard directory structure to keep your program to organize your programs so generally when a new client is coming to us we create a project for that client for that project and manage all the related programs under that folder so NetBeans has created here a program it has added here so many comments for me if you required you can keep it if you don't require you can remove it look at this NetBeans knows who is the author so these are some standard comments we must follow the comments and documentation standards but anyway I can write here my first Java my first NetBeans project so this is my very first project it has added a comment for the main method and now it is to do means I can add my code here and uh, I can write here a small message system.out.println and, and I can write a message here welcome to easy on this is a simple message I added here now you need not to go to command prompt you just have to uh, just right click here and run the program it will internally compile your program and run and in fact output you can check under the same screen look at this you can see output at the below side and you need not go to the command prompt so editor will be available here output screen will be available here you can compile from the same screen and everything which is related to the project can be managed from the single window now now let's have a look at the folder it has created for my project so go to e drive I created this NetBeans project in e drive and work directory so this is my hello application I created from NetBeans look at the important thing here NetBeans has created here a source folder it contains your dot java file this is your dot java file NetBeans has created for me and it is available under src this build folder contains compiled file so this is test dot class NetBeans has compiled and kept in this location so build stands for compiled files and source stands for dot java files and some other folder and files you will see here these are the internal files used by NetBeans to manage your project so we are not going to delete these files keep all these files here but if you don't require you can delete this build file because next time when you compile your project it will be again created so I deleted the build here and I would like to re run this project so look at this it has created a build folder and your program is compiled here so this is how you can see how to run your program look at this NetBeans is quite intelligent and it can automatically check your errors suppose I deleted this semicolon you will see here error you can check the error here semicolon expected you can see the message here semicolon expected in fact a red line is representing that something is wrong here and few more convention few more things you can read here you can see here red mark this is at the right hand side top so this is representing one error you can see, go to the exact line where error is so this is how you can jump to this error in fact your project file is showing error or in fact this project under the listing is showing the errors if you have even a single error in the project it will properly display in this way and it will, it will go to the go till the error file so here you can see this is the file where you can see the error so this is the way you can check the error immediately and correct the errors 
and quickly run the program so you will get here editor you will get here compiler you will get here uh, output window so everything you can see under this and one more thing you can see here when you right click on the project some other options you can see like clean and build this is actually removing your old files and compiling new files you will have you can do here uh, java code java documentation uh, compiler you can generate the java doc file here or uh, when you go for clean and build when you go for clean and build it will do some more job for you look at this always read this log message look at this it has created netbeans has created a folder called dist folder it has create it has uh, copied some file inside build and at last it has created one jar file for your projects so all your dot class files are bundled in this hello app dot jar file and in fact you can directly run this uh, jar file from the command line using this simple command so anyway I'm not going to run my program uh, from the command line right now but if you want to run your program from the command line this command will run your same NetBeans project from the command prompt so I'm not going to do so right now but this is the process and let me show you that folder this is my folder and it has created one additional directory called dist folder and look at this this is your hello app dot jar and this is your actually java archive file it is a java library file netbeans has created for my project and always follow this readme document open this file so many important things you will see in this file people do not read this file generally but I advise you to read this file lot of information you will see here look at this it is it is showing me how to run this jar file from command line so this command can run your jar file so this is the document you need to read so always follow the readme document this is very good practice and uh, this is how you can see it is called a disk disk stands for distribution which can be given to the client so once your project is ready you can distribute this folder to the client that's why it is called distribution folder so build folder is containing all compiled files means dot class files you will see under the build and uh, jar file after building your project you will see under dist and source contains your dot java files it's a source code for your program and these are some different directories and folders these are internally used by netbeans to handle your project management so i think this is enough for today this is all about the first program creating from netbeans thank you very much